Hi, let us understand how AutoSync functionality works within Argo CD. While creating the app, there will be an option to choose automatic or manual sync of the applications. Whenever we creating the application, we will be providing the GitHub repository as the source and the Kubernetes cluster as the target. So Argo CD, what it will be doing, it will be trying to sync the GitHub repository, that is the configuration or declarative workloads available as a part of the GitHub repositories into the Kubernetes cluster. The syncing process can be done manually or we can make it to sync automatically. By default, the automatic sync duration is set as three minutes within Argo CD. And that is done by the repo server that's running within the Argo CD. For demo purpose, I have deployed few applications. Say for example, this particular application that's having the auto sync set as no sync, sync status as not enabled. And for these two applications, it's made as enabled. Let me go ahead and uh, delete this application and uh, create auto sync as true. I'm going to create a new application. Let me give a name as sync. And have it within uh, default project name. Here's where I will be choosing the sync policy automatic and I'll be going for prune resources. Prune what will do it will delete the resources if they are not available any longer in git or otherwise it will not be deleting it that will be left orphaned resource. Self heal if there is any conflict between the GitHub repository and the workload available as a part of the cluster, that deviation will be resolved by considering GitHub as the master or GitHub as the true resource. So it will be forcing whatever that is defined within the GitHub repository. Let me choose the sample applications. You can fork it from this particular location and uh, make any further changes because we will be changing the replica or the workload and uh, see whether that is uh, getting reflected within the application automatically or not. I'm going to select the guest book as the path, cluster URL, local, and the namespace, let me deploy it within uh, Argo CD or I can create a new namespace. By defining all this, I'm going to create the application. The application is synced. Now I can get into that location of uh, GitHub repository. For easier learning purpose, I have uh, cloned it in my visual code. Here's where I have the repository and uh, the guest book is the path and here's where the YAML file that's having the replica 3. So if I get into the application, the deployment is going to have three replica of that instance or the pod. It's synced, sync status is okay and auto sync is enabled. For easier learning purpose, I changed the sync duration within the server. That can be changed by three different means. by changing the config map of Argo CD dash CM. Here I will be adding this specific information data timeout dot reconciliation. I am made it as 10 seconds so that I don't need to wait for three minutes or otherwise I can add it as a part of the system environmental variable 
In case if it is minicube, we can go ahead and do that or otherwise if it is a cluster, we have to make sure this environmental variable available as a part of all the nodes. This will be the last option and uh, another best option is directly we can uh, go ahead and set the environmental variable for the repo server by updating the repo server and restarting the Argo CD repo server. I made the change to the Argo CD config file and uh, restarted the server. We can check the Argo CD config file. Here this particular information got added. This needs to be added while starting the server itself or otherwise we need to restart the server if it's modified in the middle. Now I am going to change the replica from 3 to say 2. Now this particular file got modified. I am going to commit and push the change. So within uh, 3 seconds, the sync status it will get red and uh, it will reduce the number of pods to 2 because the sync is made as automatic. Now let's go ahead and uh, change it to a different value. Let's see 4. So here automatically it recognized and uh, made it to sync but this one it's continue in the same number of pods that is 2 and it gone out of sync. You can get in over here the number of pods it created 4 pods and kept it in sync but the other application where we have the flag auto sync is not enabled that went out of sync because we have only 2 pods here but git is having four pods. In this case, I have to manually trigger the sync operation and bring it in sync with the GitHub repository. So as a part of this particular course, we learned about how to set the reconciliation timeout in three different ways that is as a part of the environmental variable or uh, config map or go cd dash cm or we can directly go ahead and set the environmental variable for our go cd repo server as well as how to create an application with automatic as well as manual sync and their differences.